Six months from the release of 2K24, there's been a lot of talks on how NBA 2K23 fared up versus 22 and what people want to look forward to in 2K24. So I did a community poll to ask you guys, you know what I'm saying? NBA 2K24 needs what? I did this on Twitter and I did this on YouTube posts. And I'm going to go through some of the stuff y'all saying. We're going to have a little talk today about NBA 2K24 content. And in the comments right now, before we get going, what do you feel like right now that NBA 2K24 needs for the next release? For this release, what do you think are must have? Go ahead and put it in the comments. I'm going to go read and we can all talk in the comments. One of the first replies was archetype like 2K17 through 19 by Icy Marion. So check this out, man. So archetype like 17 through 19. 17 had a different archetype system than 18 and 19. If y'all recall, 18 had the duo and 19 had the duo. Now, if you're talking about those, that's probably what he meant is 18 and 19. And honestly, in my opinion, those were one of the best ones. You know what I'm saying? I think it was one of the most balanced things. You can get shot creating sharpshooters, post scoring, lockdowns. I think it covered basically all the play styles that you would have now we was begging during that time please man give us a build that can do all the things man we want a build that can be all around and do everything now we have it and we don't like it you know what i'm saying ain't that crazy so the 2k devs was actually right on that you know what i'm saying but we didn't know then they went to the pie charts honestly i think pie charts are underrated too i actually like the pie chart pie charts was fun to me you know what i'm saying you can make a lot of bills out of it but some people gonna disagree. Some people don't even like Pacha. Let me know how you feel about that. One of you guys said, allow Rebirth for different builds in the same My Career storyline. So each time you have Rebirth, we don't need to go through all the challenges and quests again. Also allow to have builds while in the park. Once a player reaches 99 overall, he should be able to Rebirth at 99. Mm. And if he spends VC and doesn't want to waste time grinding, I would gladly pay seven to eight builds if I don't have to waste time grinding. Okay, so basically what he's saying, he want to be able to, if you hit 99, every build after that is automatically 99. Now, that's an interesting take. I never heard that one before. Um, so, basically, if you hit 99, every rebirth you make on me, now, I mean, all your builds going to be worth a lot of money. I mean, 2K does make the money at the end. But I kind of would, I mean, that would be dope. But I don't see that possibly happen because it kind of takes away the grind. It means you grind one time. Now, if they make 99 really, really hard to do, like how 18 was you know what i'm saying yeah then i said Jerry, you should go ahead and unlock all the 99s if 18's rep system is with the um overalls and all that then maybe or was that 19 it's 18 and 19 but i don't know if they're gonna do that one let me know how y'all feel about that one od says needs to be affordable this hundred dollar per bill stuff is old until they address vc count me out so y'all done got od counted out man and the reason is is because this game is entirely too expensive but see here's the thing about that man y'all y'all say this but y'all still people still gonna buy it you know what i'm saying people still gonna buy the game and people still gonna make bills there's people in this world that literally has like 10 to 20 bills bro like legit that ain't a youtuber it's people in my comment section right now that got at least seven bills all maxed at 99 so as a matter of fact if you is one of them man hit me up man let me use your account you know what i'm saying you got a couple 99 let me use your account for a video come on come on but there is people who don't have an issue spending i mean they don't like it they gonna complain about it like dang there's another hundred but they're gonna spend it you know as soon as they get they check they get they check they go buy some vc <laughs> ain't gonna lie before i was a youtuber i used to do that i used to get my little four hundred dollar checks and i'd be like "Ooh, i got some money let me go buy some vc for my team cinco vibe and says rookie the legend rep system so basically he want the rep system back the og one from 2k 20 and before but now remember 18 they had 0 to 99 or 60 to 99 where you basically go all the way to 99 one of them 2k i think it was 18 where you had the, like you would be a 96 97 98 99 all that stuff and you would get stuff for it but rookie the legend i think was better than season seasons isn't see I, i'm mixed about it seasons could be executed very well in my opinion if the rewards were better because these rewards this year i ain't gonna in my opinion aren't as good as last year now y'all 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 may disagree this is just my personal opinion i believe last year so far last year's one through five was better than this one through five i mean honestly all right and the only thing we gonna be looking for at this point is mascots you know what i'm saying that, that's what i'm letting you know that might be the one time i hit 40 i only hit 41 time this year for the go-kart 
and I keep getting these transportation options at level 40, but what about the gameplay stuff? You know what I'm saying? We want either stuff that make us look good on the court or we want gameplay related stuff. That's literally all we want. But Ray says cross platform for same gen or at least make one game for last gen and current. Lower VC cost by like half and let us respect our bills. So look at this. Somebody vouching for another current gen. Look, I I want courage in the end this year. All right, y'all, if you there's PS5s out now, y'all can get the PS5. And I say this because I mainly post current, but come on, there's no way y'all don't have current gen at this point, it, right? Ain't no way, right? Y'all y'all all got PS5s or could get PS5 if you want to, but y'all y'all all can't just only have current gen. So there has to be a point where we move on at some point. You know what I'm saying? We gotta move on at some point. This is probably our last year playing current. In the comments, should they repeat and do current gen again or should they drop current gen for 24? If they do another current gen, I think it's gonna be this exact same game. I don't think they're gonna try. I really don't think they're gonna try for current next year. I think they're gonna give you the exact same formula. It's gonna be everything gonna be identical if there's another current. I don't see them trying. They're not gonna try with current. They may drop current. But I can't see them trying again, man. So if you want to play the exact same game as last year, most people ain't going to buy it if it ain't much change. They just going to play 23. And if you want to play 24, you got to get a next gen. You know what I'm saying? We might get that trailer soon, the exclusively for next gen trailer. That's going to go crazy. That's going to make everybody go crazy. But guess what? That's going to push all y'all to go get PS5. You want to play 2K ever again? You got to get a PS5. You know what I'm saying? You got to get a PS5. And that's when... You know, you just gonna have to make that move. And as far as cross platform, man, we've been talking about that for years, man. I don't even, they ain't doing it. I right? they don't wanna do it. For whatever reason, they don't wanna do it. It ain't happening. We're gonna have to get past this. They, they ain't doing it. I, I can't see it, man. I've been what we've been waiting for how long? Man, we've been saying that since 2K18, 16, 17. It still ain't happening. And of course the technology's out there, but it ain't happening for a reason. 2K don't want to do it let's don't even get our hopes up and start that again and tyler says you can choose different eras in my career and i ain't gonna lie that's kind of cool that'd be kind of neat imagine you can go to the jordan era in my career and you can be somebody that was drafted in 1985 or 1980 or something and play his whole career out in the in a different era than just current era that actually would be fire i'm not gonna lie it's something that i said a long time ago i'm gonna show y'all this TikTok right here Get back, nigga! Get! But what I said was, and if you saw on that TikTok, what if NBA 2K24 adds a co-op mode for my career where we can grind against AIs and win championships together? Would that not be fire, y'all? I personally think that would be fire, man. I think that would cause a lot of people to, you know what I'm saying, have the new, new type of content. You can be like, you know what I'm saying, we the new Jordan and Pippen out here winning rings together. I think that'd be fire. I don't think they'll ever do it, but I think it would be fire, man. That probably ain't gonna ever happen to 2K26. But whenever they do drop, it will be fine. But hey, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know y'all ideas in the comments. Let me know what all the stuff, you know what I'm saying, how you feel about 2K24 and what they need, man. To next video, I see y'all then, man. Peace.